Today, I will share my journey of changing my smile using cutting edge technology and my own creativity. Join me in the world of smile design and the innovative process of Smile Creator in Exocad. Let's discover how I crafted my perfect smile from start to finish. Our journey starts in the order form. We're going to choose mock-up. That's the best option for smile design cases. I'm going to save the order and go right into design. After I orientated the arch up, I'm going to go into the smile creator and I'm going to load the retracted photo first. Taking good records is probably the most important factor for good smile design cases. We want to have a natural smile and a retractive smile. I have a photo handbook you can download on the Patreon page. Everything is described here from the series for ACD, all the camera settings, the best camera settings are all described. When we align the arch to the pictures, we want to make sure we align contour lateral points that mean bicuspid to bicuspid, not molar to central. That will distort the alignment. I'm going to click on the gingiva of the second bicuspid and in the same position in the scan. Then I'm going to move diagonally to the second bicuspid on the cusp and click on the same position in the scan. I'm going to go next and I can see the picture is pretty good aligned with a yellow dot. If I press the left mouse button, I can move the picture up and down. I can also drag and resize the picture. If I press the right mouse button, I can change the orientation of the actual scan. I can also morph the scan if I take photos with cell phone. The most important part is that the centrals and the laterals, I don't have any laterals in this case, are perfectly aligned, especially the midline. Click next and we're going to go to the next step. Now we have to import our smile photo. The smile photo is very important that we take the smile photo and the retracted photo in the same position. Don't have the patient move while you take the smile photo, half it in, take the retractors in, and then ExoCAD will do a fantastic job aligning it. You can also manually align the two pictures with a green and yellow dot. And then we're going to move on to our lip line outline. That's important because this area is going to be cut out. Click next and we're going to move to the interpupular line. The interpupular line is one area to determine the facial midline. There are four distinct areas in the facial midline. The first one is the middle of the chin, the pogonian. The second one is a philtrum, it's basically under the nose. The third important one is the apex nasi, which is the middle and the highest point of the nose. The third one is the gabella, which is in between the eyes. Now we can orientate the golden proportion. I usually choose 80%. That is times 1.25. It's a very good measure if you have very abraded teeth. You just measure the width times it by 1.25 and you have the ideal length, which is 80% of the central. And then I can orientate the smile line, which is basically a curved line where the incisal edges of the anterior teeth are hitting against to make a nice positive curve. I can add additional horizontal or vertical lines as reference points. And then I can add a library or change libraries. I'm going to change it to a more triangular shape first. but. When I look at my face, it doesn't really match. If you look at my face, I have more of an oval looking face. So I'm going to switch the library to a more oval look. I'm going to pick the robotically oval shape here. And to my liking, you might have a different opinion. Please leave it in the comment section if you like it or not. I like this library a lot. After I position the library roughly, I can go to my first preview. In the first preview, you have a before and after previous and new design. You have a slider, we can slide back and forth. I can then create a PDF. I'm going to go through the PDF later in the video to go more into detail what we're going to see here because now I'm going to positioning my teeth first in chain mode. Like I said in my previous videos, chain mode is probably my favorite tool in Exocade. I can positioning full arch cases very quickly. In this case, I'm going to add the anteriors first. I'm going to make them in the dimension of the anteriors I already have. I can lock areas. I can free areas. I can move sections. 
My case is really special because you can see I don't have any laterals. I'm converting canines into laterals. So instead of making the laterals really wide like my canines, I probably end up with some cutting or splitting the contact area. And I will show in my next video how I make a really nice guide that allows the clinician to perfectly plan the case, like cutting areas that are sticking out or breaking contacts. When I'm opening up the smile window, I can get a good preview of how my smile is gonna look. I can bring in certain guidelines or I can change the teeth to an outline or a natural shape. What I'm gonna do then, I can see that my buckle corridor on the left side is a little bit collapsed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring out the left side a little bit more to fill up the buckle corridor. Then under tools, I can go back into the actual smile creator. In the smile creator, I have my preview before and after again. I can change shades. For example, I'm starting out with an A1. I can have an A2, A3, A3.5. So you can see right away way how are you gonna look with a different shade most patients they say I want to have a white light shade I want to have an OM2 I want to have an OM1 and then when they get the actual T's they're gonna be super surprised how they look with this method with the emotional mock-up you can actually see how you're gonna look with some wider T's or with some longer T's or shorter T's that makes it perfect for a communication between the lab and the doctor, but also between the doctor and the patient. I can change how my background, naturally when the light, the light is getting a little bit darker towards the back, so I can change the darkness in the back here, or I can change the actual color, I can change the tone, I can make it more orangey or more like an amber look. I like this amber look and then I'm gonna go back into the actual smile creator. I can see that my front teeth or my interiors in general are a little bit too long. If I move it to the original size, they are too short. For my liking, they're a little bit too short. So I'm gonna compromise to a middle and I'm gonna move all the other teeth accordingly a little bit up. Then I'm gonna tilt the laterals. The laterals are usually a little bit tilted to the distal. For the distal part, you can naturally see less. Same with the canine. If you look at canine naturally, the distal part is usually completely gone and you are not gonna see it. What I noticed right away in the smile window is that my smile is a little bit canted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the entire teeth and make it even with my horizontal line. That will even out the smile and it looks much better. Here you can see it in the preview. Please leave in the comment section if you like this smile and if you approve it. Then you can send the doctor a PDF. It's a really detailed PDF and clients love it. They love to look at this PDM and get the entire communication. You have different smiles before and after. You have different close-ups and how the smile looks from different angles, including details measurement. Then what I'm gonna see here that I probably need some gingerectomy and you can look at my video about gingerectomy. I have a really detailed video. Then right click on the arch, select freeform scan data, select the plus sign under free and hold the shift button. That will get into the minus or reductive mode and you can take away the actual scan data where the arch is penetrating to the new design. In area where it comes closer to the margin, I'm gonna use a smaller brush tool and I'm gonna go like two thirds up and strengthen brush. After the modification in freeform scan data is done, I select all the teeth, go to freeform and I'm gonna adjust the height of the CJ of my teeth. I can move the, I can use the morph tool to move parts around. And then last not least, I can adjust the occlusion. I give it a little bit of a smooth where there's a hard cut so it doesn't look so harsh. 
Then I'm going to create the virtual website bottle. I'm going to move the T's a little bit forward, hit apply, and the website calculation is done. Under the connectors, I don't really build connectors. I just hit the plus sign to give it a minimum connection. After everything is merged, I can then move into the model builder step. Under the model builder, I'm going to select, select digital wax up. I'm going to select the platelets model. And here you can choose between teeth you want to include in the wax up. I think that's really, really cool. In this case, I'm going to include all the teeth because I want to make my visual wax up completely. Make sure you didn't adapt to the Pontex. Adapting to the Pontex will create a wax up model with gaps and you don't want to have this. Under attachments, you can add a text. In this case, I'm going to call it my new smile. You can choose between Ambrose and Debrose. And I think my new smile is a really catchy name. If you print this on a model with your company logo or for example, with a patient name, my new smile for patient X, makes it really personal for the patient. If you want to include the antagonist and make an extra model for the antagonist, just click on it and create the model. It's very simple. You can add the same text on the antagonist, my new smile. I don't put any attachments on this one. You can put Itero attachments on there, so have a nice Itero one. Then I'm gonna add on remove another scan. I'm gonna bring in a pre-op scan, which is actually the scan before I did the modification. And here you can see that my central is intersecting into the design as well as the canines intersecting in the new position of the laterals. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make this awesome guide here that you can send to your doctor that you can use as a pre-prep guide to actually modify the natural intuition before you start prepping. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the notification bell. I also have a Patreon page where you can download the photography handbook I mentioned in this video. You will learn a lot of things in there, how to use the camera, what the settings are, what are the best settings for inter-all photography, all the series you need to take for ACD, for example, and so and so on. Go to the Patreon page, you won't be disappointed. Until then, stay tuned.